so I'm out of the showing today and this house is 765 now we're about an hour outside of LA and the cool thing about it is um, you don't get a ton of snow but you do get some seasons out here you get like some what they call a dusting of snow and I'm gonna show the inside of the house in just a little bit but there are solar panels that feed into the property itself and then also feeding over into the pool which is the ones that you see recessed in the back right there this gazebo right here is uh gonna house a jacuzzi and i'll show you that in just a sec which is really nice you got a lot of options on this property um let's step inside so this is walking into this is not even like a gazebo this is actually a full-on structure uh, you can close this off almost like a little small guest house if you will but this is a jacuzzi that seats probably about 12 but it's a pretty good space and this is right outside your living room area because this feeds right onto a, a wraparound porch that goes around to the front door and over to the backyard if you want it but it feeds inside so it's there's distressed hardwood floors throughout, but each room kind of has its own personality. I love little cutouts like that. You can enjoy a sunrise, sunset. Plenty of space around your dining room table. I look for things like that. You want to have a good footprint like that when you are pulling your chairs out or you're serving food or something like that, right? Cut out in the ceiling. Granite countertops. It's got lots of ovens in here too. So with your stove, plenty of lighting. Play around with some lighting. But you also have recessed ovens inside the wall. So you can cook pretty big dinners. Now, this fireplace is pretty unique. The whole thing heats up. If you want to heat some water there, I guess, for tea or coffee, whatever you might like. But that goes with it. It's pretty nice. So this feeds out to a great room. <clears throat> Huge. And you can feel the temperature difference too when you step in here, it's really nice and warm. You can see with the trees moving outside, there's gonna be a crosswind that you can always enjoy. So that gives you a lot of leverage to change the temperature in here. And you're gonna enjoy a sunrise and a sunset. I get excited when I see properties where you can enjoy both. And then there's obviously upstairs. I'm gonna jump outside real quick. So this here is a dog run. Or you can house, look like they have big parrots or something like that maybe. Huge ones, but monkeys, whatever you want. Tigers, lions, rhinos. You can pull a Pablo Escobar around here if you want it, but that's the great room we were just in. And so there's trails that literally go throughout the property. So this trail feeds into a grotto and a pool. Water comes out, feeds into your pond, I guess, down there. I love water features. The sound of the water is so tranquil. I can imagine this has got to be pretty nice at night. And the way you position your rocks is the way you control the sound of your water. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Outdoor grill, amenities. Get out here and tour. Enjoy the canyons. Got to make sure that cannon's included, right? But of course, that could be <clears throat> considered personal property, so it's got to go with whomever is selling the property. But if it's a fixed, 
If I see one bolt, one tie down, I'm staking my claim. I just like to have fun with stuff. So these are your steps that go up to your slide. They go all up around. That's your slide that dips down into the pool. Rubber ducky is probably not included, but I'll negotiate it for you. And then in the back, there's like a guest house. hook back here. You got all kind of people back here. But I love properties that have nooks and crannies so you can get creative. There's Captain Hook. I don't know who dude is. Probably Trump hiding out. I think this is the pool changing room, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly. And yes, kind of a bathroom. This is the pool changing room. So that's your slide. Your own personal water tower. So apparently it's four hundred dollars a month for your electric, but you get a four thousand credit at the end of the year because you have the solar panels, which makes all your utilities. It's another little Captain Hook can do spying on you for free. I mean, a property like this is pretty nice. But again, it's about an hour outside of uh, L.A. But when you consider spending almost 800000 for a property, it's always good to explore and find out what you got. You always got your uh, fence here for your property line, which is really cool. You don't have to figure out where your property starts and stops. Pool equipment is nice and far away. So you can hear that sound like that, which I like. Sometimes homes in Sermon Oaks and other parts of the valley, you can't get away from that. That's really cool, makes it nice and user friendly, I think. So this is that pond area that we saw from the top. The water comes from the pool. Back over to our cage. It also has a three car garage. Um, the garage door is there for two cars. And then the third it's basically the screen that comes down. I've always wanted to see one of these too because they're always on Facebook. So the garage door is still here. And then you have the screen door that comes down, which I love for working in a garage. You don't have to worry about having your garage door open, but then you can keep flies or whatever out. It's a huge water tank, which is great so you don't run out of hot water. For those of you who like long showers, this is going to be your entry level going up into the house which is also great so when you got groceries stuff like that you pull in you're not walking from outside in order to get into the house and let me show you the bedrooms most of the bedrooms are upstairs this feeds right into your master suite <clears throat> you do have bathroom on your left another bedroom on your left and then you have another bedroom to your right, which be a kid's bedroom. Give an idea of size, that's a full-size mattress. And then here, love and natural light. And then you're waking up to a sunrise out that window. And your bathroom. Now, shower's kinda interesting. I like the shower door, but 
Uh, it's rather interesting. Jacuzzi bathtub. A little bit of skylight. But you can enjoy a sunset over here, which is nice, because that's when you want to enjoy your bath, right? Business area is not closed off. But I suppose that could probably change, but that kind of tells you when homes were built a little bit. So, I also like to point out too, a straight shot. Also lets you know what the sound would be like in the house. So you can hear the ball game from down here or your bedroom, somebody knocking on the door. But then of course, when you have rooms offset, it kind of quiets down a little bit. And acoustically, it could be loud in here because your hardwood floors are throughout. So you have a little bit of control. So living room area, the ceiling's a little bit different. Lots and lots of natural light. Can't imagine you turning on any lights at all, at least not too often. So that about does it. If someone is interested, please let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the uh, video.